Whatever. Well, I'm going to ask Okay, so let's have some questions and answers uh, in English now. If I may start, uh, you mentioned that President Dashboom said, exit from the program without the need of a new program. First of all, does it include also a precautionary credit line? Would you mean that um, also a precautionary credit line is out of the question for uh, after the summer of 2018? And second, do they all agree on that line? Well, we didn't have a long discussion. It's quite clear that the Greek government and uh, the Greek and the European in, and IMF institutions do not are not conceiving of a precautionary credit line. There's no reason for such a credit line. In fact, the the decision of June, uh, the June Eurogroup specifically says let's build up uh, money for arrears and money for a buffer in, in order so the Greeks can have a, a clean break. Obviously, there'll be three discussions after the closing of the third review. One will be on the nature of the exit. One will be on the de uh, debt issue and to make sure we clarify uh, what needs to be done or, on, or on debt. And the third one will be on the remaining issues to do with the, with the program. Κύριε Υπουργέ, τον Ήλιο του 2015 συμφωνήθηκε ένα δάνειο προς την Ελλάδα 86 δισεκατομμύρια. Από αυτά έχουν εγκληθεί περίπου τα 40, αν δεν κάνω λάθος. Από το υπόλοιπο ποσό που απομένει, αν αφαιρέσουμε 20 δισεκατομμύρια που δεν χρησιμοποιήθηκαν για την ανακαταλήρωση των δραπεζών, μας μένουν ακόμη 26 δισεκατομμύρια. Okay, so the question is what happens to the part of the ESM loan that has not been spent and doesn't look likely to be spent? Uh, I haven't got any clear answer for you on that, but I'm sure it will be part of the, dis the whole discussion of how Greece uh, will exit the program. Um, the implication of the Eurogroup statement of June is that we will perhaps get some of that money for arrears and building up buffers. But I think this is a discussion to have, which we will have between February and May, say, uh, I think. But it's not a discussion for, for now. Um, thank you very much for your time, first of all. Uh, a Greek uh, official said in the past week that there is concerns that we might not reach the targets of uh, 2018, the fiscal targets, and there could be a uh, possibility of extra measures to be taken. Is that your understanding? And when will we know when we will reach the target? Well, I don't think anybody thinks we are not going to reach our target for 2017. Um, the issue about 2018, we will know by no November. The, the, the concern has arisen because uh, of the shortfall in income tax, but at the same time, we have overperformance in other areas. We have overperformance in the Social Security budget. We have overperformance in VAT. So what the net result will be, we don't know yet. I'm very confident that we won't need any new measures for 2018 uh, because I think the, two, the, the pros and the cons, the overperformance and the underperformance will cancel themselves out. Um, there was this whole issue about whether there should be an AQR for the banks ahead of, you know, mid next year when the stresses are going to take place. Is your understanding that this has been resolved between the ECB and the IMF right now? And we I've heard discussions about that. Uh, the Greek case is uh, uh, very straightforward. The Greek banks uh, are part of the European system. We have the European authorities, the ECB and the SSM. Neither of those are calling for uh, an asset quality review. Uh, there will be a stress test like there will be throughout uh, Europe. And indeed, we think that after two years, it, I mean not after two years, in two years' time, when we'll have had two years of good growth, when we will have had all the measures we've 
taken to address the issue of the NPLs, from the bankruptcy code, from the measures to do with NPLs, and uh, the Greek banks will be in a very good uh, position. Uh, and, and I think that everybody is waiting to see that improvement with all the work that we've done in, uh, on improving the NPLs and, of course, the growth, which is also a, a great uh, help in these situations. There was no discussion, by the way, if that is your question, there was no discussion uh, about uh, that in the, the Eurogroup. The only discussion was um, a certain concern about the e payments part of the um, the uh, NPL problem uh, being a bit more delayed than everything else that seems to be going uh, according to plan. Are you going to need the IMF to sign off your review in order to get, let's say, following change in December, or this time it's going to be a different procedure? I don't know. The IMF at the moment will have to um, to support the program. It's as you know, it has its review in January, if I'm not mistaken, about whether it will continue with a standby arrangement. But since I expect to uh, have completed the third week, our government to completed the third review before that, obviously the IMF will be part of that discussion. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care.